Hello everyone, this week we are talking about contending well, and today I'm gonna to speak about contending well with conviction. And just to start off, a definition of terms. The biblical word for conviction means to scrutinize or to examine carefully, to bring to light, to expose, or to bring a person to the point of recognizing wrongdoing. Now, conviction is not something that many people would say is a good thing. Uh, nobody likes the way it feels when we feel convicted of sin. But I would say that conviction of sin is actually a good thing. In fact, I'd go as far as to say that conviction of sin is actually a gift. Oswald Chambers says, conviction of sin is one of the rarest things that ever strikes a man. And that is because Conviction of sin does not come from within us, but it comes from without. See, in John chapter 16, verse 8, Jesus says, Nevertheless, I tell you the truth. It is to your advantage that I go away. For if I do not go away, the Helper will not come to you. But if I go, I will send him to you. And when he comes, he will convict the world concerning sin and righteousness and judgment. Jesus says, it is to our advantage that he goes away. And why? Because he is going to send the helper who is the Holy Spirit. And what is it that he says the helper is going to do? He is going to convict the world concerning sin. Now, conviction of sin is not simply feeling bad about things that we have done wrong. Neither is it really the fear of consequences for the wrong that we have done. To put it simply, the conviction of sin is seeing our sin by the power of the Holy Spirit the way that God sees our sin. So how can I possibly say that sight of sin is a gift? And why is my helper, our helper, the Holy Spirit bringing it? For this to make sense, it's also important to understand the nature of sin. You see, sin is not simply a list of rules that God gives because he's trying to hold out on us. That, that's not what it is. It's not just a, a list of bad things that we are not to do. You see, when Adam and Eve were in the Garden of Eden, they were given one rule, and that was not to eat from the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. For if they did, God said, you will surely die. God says, if you don't do what I say, if you sin, you will die. See, God was not trying to hold out on them. He was offering them life. He was effectively saying, trust me, do what I say, for I know the way that life works best. I know the way in which you can flourish. So when God is telling us not to do something, he's actually pointing us to the path of life. He's not trying to hold out on us. He is showing us the way in which life works best, and he knows the way life works best. This is why the Holy Spirit is convicting us of sin today. He is leading us away from the things that will hurt us, and he is leading us to the path of life. So in the end, what does it mean to contend well with conviction? Ultimately, when the Holy Spirit convicts your heart of sin, recognize that he's not trying to beat you up. He is not trying to cause you to feel shame. He is ultimately trying to lead you to the path of life. And when the conviction comes, take the next step. Confess the sin to God, recognizing that he is a good father, that he sees your sin anyway and that he promises to forgive us freely. 1 John 1, 9 says, if we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. And then after we have confessed, contend daily to stay on the path of life that the Holy Spirit has set before you, that he has set before us. Thank you.